Buddy, I need you to understand how daylight savings works, okay? It is not time. We have another hour and a half. So I have some bad news here, okay? And it's not feeding the cat an early time period, all right? It is the end of the month, all right? October is over with. It is now like November 4th, 5th? What day is it? November 4th, okay? I, as you can see, October is still on here. I don't know. Actually, I do know. I can tell you where I'm at as far as my weight goes. But what I want to say is it's not good. All right. I, I, I messed up. I messed up. The lowest I got in October was 208. Right here, 208.2. That is the lowest. And guess what I weighed this morning? Let me pull it up. Give me one second. This morning, I weighed myself at 216. Eight pounds heavier than my lowest weigh-in on Wednesday, the 30th. That is a week ago. One, two, three. Almost a week ago, you know, I've gained a significant amount of fat over the last couple of days, and it's not good. It's no bueno, you know. I need to dial stuff back in and start losing more of that weight and go back to being closer to 200 pounds, all right? I don't want to go up. I want to go down and stay down. That means being on top of my cardio, and I'm not going to lie, for the last like, week or two, like I said, I've been kind of taking it a little bit easier on my cardio, still having those high step counts like closer to 20,000 steps. And I need I need to be more consistent with that because I, I would reach a minimum of 10,000 steps and then I would call it a day, give or take. And then any anything after that was just a bonus, but I need to make sure that I'm getting closer to like 12 and 15,000 steps a day, all right? I need my average, my weekly average to go back up to a decent amount of number. And honestly, ooh, man, I'm just, I'm just rambling on right now. Uh, it, it's kind of late. I should be at the gym right now but because right now it should be 7.30, but I'm not. I'm about to leave because I have nothing to do and I'm just drinking this coffee. I uh, burned my tongue a few times, but hey, the reason why my weight went up this the past couple of days is, well, this past weekend, we went to a wedding, right? We got back, we had some Taco Bell, we had whatever wedding food we made. We had a date night on Wednesday as well, almost a week ago, you know? I've gained a significant amount of fat over the last couple of days, and it's not good. It's no bueno, you know? I need to dial stuff back in and start losing more of that weight and go back to being closer to 200 pounds, all right? I don't want to go up. I want to go down and stay down. That means being on top of my cardio, and I'm not going to lie, for the last like, week or two, like I said, I've been kind of taking it a little bit easier on my cardio, still having those high step counts, like closer to 20,000 steps. And I need, I need to be more consistent with that because I, I would reach a minimum of 10,000 steps and then I would call it a day, give or take. And then any, anything after that was just a bonus, but I need to make sure that I'm getting closer to like 12 and 15,000 steps a day. All right. I need my average, my weekly average to go back up to a decent amount of number. And honestly, ooh, man, I'm just, I'm just rambling on right now. Uh, it, it's kind of late. I should be at the gym right now but because right now it should be 7.30, but I'm not. I'm about to leave because I have nothing to do and I'm just drinking this coffee. I uh, burned my tongue a few times, but hey, the reason why my weight went up this the past couple of days is, well, this past weekend we went to a wedding, right? We got back, we had some Taco Bell, we had whatever wedding food we made. We had a date night on Wednesday as well. Yeah, a bunch of just stuff. That kind of just led one thing to another to another thing, and we, I messed up. It's just what it is that it is. It's not the end of the world. I just need to course correct. I know where I went wrong. So now that I know where I went wrong, I can fix those things and not do them again. If I do them again, I got to be more moderate as to how I do those things. You know, be more conscious about it. And that's okay. It's okay that I messed up. It's not the end of the world. All right, so I'm going to the gym, train. Ah, chest maybe? No, arms. I got to train arms. I haven't done arms in a while. I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak. Remember sleeping on the floor. <laughs> now, just like with anything else, I need to work my way up. So right now, I'm like a 135 on here. I don't know if this is actually 135 because I don't know how much a bar weights, but I'm assuming that it weighs 45 pounds. Consistency here, you know? That's, that's all I care about. So 135. Then we got to go up to whatever. I'll add 25s after this and then I'll make it 185. And then two tens, I think, right? One ten. Either way, whatever. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do like three, four reps. 
this for like a set or two, then I drew again with 185 for another like three or four reps for a set or two, just to make sure that I get my triceps warmed up and primed for the actual work itself. So these sets right now, they don't count. <sighs> Go for me. That close grip bench press was uh was pretty good, man. I only did three sets because uh, a bunch of people were crowding around me with the other benches, uh, and I just didn't want to continue filming. But the most that I've ever done in this 160, sorry, 180 for six reps. So let me do one more warm up set, 150, and just make sure that I'm in the right position here. Oh man, this already feels heavy. Fuck. You know, today's workout's actually coming out to be very, very intense. Like I'm hitting some PRs today, but I didn't, I didn't think I was going to hit. Oh, yeah. Nice and slow. It's probably because I'm all carved up, you know? I have the, the nutrients for the workout. I'm not depleted. Nice and slow. We're going to take it nice and easy. <laughs> Come on. You know, I got here really early today. Like at seven. Usually I'm leaving my place at seven. You know, I was, like I said, I was bored. I wanted to go to the gym. It feels like it's a lot later than we is working on my book. You know, I want to stay here. Well, technically it should be 10. It can actually be leaving, but it's nine o'clock. But like, I'm fine. I mean, I'm thriving right now. I'm having such a great workout. Ah, uh, these bicep curls, man. I haven't trained them. I don't know the last time I trained my biceps because it's I'm not tracking my biceps are just there for any time I train my biceps. I mean, it's just to keep my bicep down, you know. I'm not trying to improve them. I should, but my main focus is my triceps. So I'm trying to like overwork my triceps. Thing. Well, I didn't get to do as many sets as I wanted to just because there's this might be more round. I mean, I don't want to be that guy who's just recording the workouts and not everything. So I kind of just didn't record it and did as many sense as I should, then left. So now I'm here. And these curls, man, they're fucking, or they feel good though. Um, but I'm done with the curls, and now I'm doing these hammer curls in that. There's a whole another level, man. 
like my mind must connection right now is like 11 out of 10. <laughs> oh, don't ask me why I'm like doing both and then alternating. I just, I just am. My biceps are definitely going to be starting well. I'm, I'm going to be happy about it. I'm going to be happy about it. I definitely want to do some more triceps. I just don't know what I want to do. Maybe I'll do some more single work. I did uh, some arm tricep push downs as a warm up. Trying to get my, my triceps primed up and ready for the low grip bench press. And that uh, definitely helped out for sure. Oh, yeah. And my arms feel like they've grown. But it's just like the pop of my arms are that big. But I got a nice pump going on. Feels good, man. It feels real fucking good. Surprising. Actually, I'm not surprised. The gym is pretty much empty. Like, there's a decent amount of people in here now, but that time change, man. Fucked up. All right, the time change fucks with everybody's schedule because they think it's a lot later than it really is, but it's not. Uh, so like, there's a lot less people in here because they think it's 10 o'clock, but it's really 9 o'clock. You know how it works, you know? Oh, all right, let's do another set here. Actually, let's do some. Yeah, let's do some of these first. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice little combo over here. Combo action. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. So this is something that I do anymore. Shoulders. Because of my lower back. And unfortunately today, actually it was last night, my lower back started to hurt. Uh, it didn't get to the point where I'm like, damn, damn, I can't fucking move. Uh, but I was feeling some very uncomfortable feelings around my lower back, which I knew if I did something wrong, I would be in fucking pain. So I bought some lattice cream patches from Amazon. They got delivered around like 4 or 5 a.m., which woke up, went downstairs to the package room, and it was right there. And uh, put one on this morning. But what I was trying to say is... My lower back is the reason why I haven't been training shoulders. Like I definitely want to go back to doing my favorite mach machine, my shoulder machine, but because my triceps, my chest, are my main focus, I got to start doing this as a substitute for that machine to make sure that I'm keeping my shoulders active. Oh yeah, it feels good. Shop for me in a liberty, just call me liberty. Oh, let's go. Lightweight, lightweight. Come on. Oh, oh. oh yeah, damn. I don't understand what it is, but the feeling of being sore in that lactic acid building up in your whatever muscle it just feels fucking good like i enjoy it and there must be some kind of psychopathic psychopathic thing related to it for sure because i don't think that's normal but it feels good ah uh, maybe it is normal because i'm not the only one in here that probably enjoys that feeling either so it's like the natural dopamine reward that anybody gets from actual hard work. I got a job for me though, everybody. Just follow me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So listen, man, today's workout wasn't like the most planned and perfect workout out there, but it was a good workout nonetheless. I definitely got a good tricep bump in me. I got an amazing bicep pump. And I'm, I, I'm not chasing the pump here, okay? I don't chase the pump like I used to. I'm not trying to just get my biceps to show off. I'm trying to build muscle. And that might sound like a strange concept, concept to, to you because the pump does not usually equate to muscle. Like sure, at the beginning, your fitness journey, you might 
get the pump, you'll get stronger because you're new to lifting, you know? But uh, chasing the pump isn't a thing, you know? It's not the thing that's going to help you build muscle. At least that's what I've experienced myself uh, and from all the videos that I watched and from, I don't know how long I've been doing this, but focusing on just trying to be stronger than last time is going to help you build a muscle. You got to train to failure and you got to break down your your micro somiers or whatever they're called down, right? You got to make them, you got to break them down so they can build back up, you know, build back better. So that's it. Uh, I'm wired, man. I'm I'm awake, and I'm not gonna lie. Before I came to the gym, I was, I was debating on whether or not to come to the gym because I, I got like five hours, if that, of sleep last night. Went to bed at two, woke up around seven. Uh, don't know what time I actually fell asleep, but didn't get any sleep, and I was kind of feeling kind of drowsy throughout the day. And I had some coffee. Didn't finish it. I had maybe a quarter of the coffee, if that. And uh, I guess as soon as I started working out, man, I got I got the energy that I needed to make sure I did the best I could. And that's sometimes you just got to show up to the gym and do some work, man. Um, there's going to be days that you don't want to, but you have to. You know, if you want to see progress, you have to go to the gym. You got to do your cardio. You got to eat clean. You got to do all these things. There's going to be days where you you mess up. You know, you can't control things. I mean, you can do your best ability. Like, for example, this past weekend, I could have done a better job as to what I ate, not going to Taco Bell. If we did go to Taco Bell, not pick anything for myself and just go to bed hungry. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But like, I probably would have maybe picked up a one item instead of a fucking whole meal. The thing that really screwed us over with Taco Bell, though, is they gave us the wrong order. So, I mean, we didn't realize until we got home and we just ate it. You know, we ate it. We were hungry. It was late. So there's that thing. Then I had my nephew's birthday party, uh, which is fun. We had some pizza. I had a couple slices. And uh, yeah. What else? We ended up taking a box home. So I got to finish that box up of pizza. Uh, at the wedding we went to, we ended up taking a container full of pulled pork, which is awesome. That's good meal prep. What I don't have to fucking do. So I got pulled pork, I got pizza at home, I got, I swear there was something else. But this past weekend, you know, it really taught me a lot. Like, I didn't get my steps in, you know. I probably should have made that more of a priority. I didn't get a workout in. I should have made that more a priority to make sure I got those things taken care of. Uh, the food part, you know, I knew that was going to be a thing to a certain extent. Didn't know to what extent, but... I could just be like, all right, we got food at home. Let's get that. Or let's get something else that's more macro-friendly than Taco Bell. Let's get Chipotle if it was open, you know. Uh, I definitely would have gained weight from Chipotle for sure, when I, without doubt. But at least the macronutrients and the micronutrients would have been way better than the non-existent ones in Taco Bell. So it's just things that we just have to think about and change in our, in our daily life. But, hey, I'm going to go home. Uh, thanks for watching. Please continue to join me in this winter arc. Oh, excuse me. I got to do the board because I got to weigh myself tomorrow morning and see where I'm at. So make sure you stick around for the rest of the winter arc. I think November is going to be the end of it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I want to de definitely lose as much weight as possible. I, right now, my goal is 205 and two, 200 and then go from there. I don't know if I'll continue to lose weight, but I want to get to that point before I say I'm done losing weight, you know? So. Make sure you stick around so that way you can you can see my faults. And if you're feeling some type of way with how you're doing your, your weight loss, you know, like, hey, this is normal. Because sometimes it is normal. You and I, we're not stepping on a stage. We're not going on a bodybuilding competition. We're just trying to lose the extra pounds that we've gained over the years. So keep that in mind, you know. All right, I'm going to go home now. Thanks for watching. Like the video, leave a comment down below. Something, regardless, anything. I don't know. Maybe help me out with my app because it's still it's still not working. Uh, I gotta I gotta stop talking.